What is a Fourier transform? So we all know the famous song, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear whoever, happy birthday to you. All right, I'm a horrible singer, but we can put music to that. And so we have notes and each of those notes corresponds to a different frequency and they occur at different times. And we get this beautiful song, happy birthday. Now suppose we make a histogram of how many of each note are present in that song. We would come up with a plot, something like this. Well, that plot, that is a Fourier transform. It is a map of how much of each frequency is in a signal. Now the Fourier transform actually calculates complex numbers. So the numbers there are the amplitudes, complex amplitudes of each of those frequencies. And they're complex amplitudes because there's both a magnitude and a phase element to that. So the Fourier transform is missing time information. When I'm teaching classes, I like to say, hey, I have this song of mine and it is beautiful. It has two F notes, two E notes, two D notes, six C notes, two B notes, three A notes, and eight G notes, and one G H note. Isn't that beautiful? And the class looks at me really strange, like I have no idea what song that is. And yes, the Fourier transform is missing that time information. And a Fourier transform is immensely useful for many things, but it also, blinds us from some things, and that is the time element of a signal. And many times that time element is important. So use the Fourier transform with caution.